hello everyone welcome to our brand new video in today's video i'm going to talk about issue templates on github if you visit any github profile and let's say you want to submit any kind of issue regarding any bugs or feature related problem so what you normally do you simply go to issues and you create new issues if that issue is not available already all right so let's say i'm going to create a new issue so i am simply clicking on this new issue button and here i am seeing categorized issue and that is actually good for any kind of repository out there so if you have some issue templates on your repository then it helps the audiences then it helps the developers then it helps the other people to submit issue in a categorized way and later if you want to check any specific kind of issues then you can simply filter them out easily so therefore we need issue templates for example in this student book project make sure to start this repository by the way so if i'm going to create any new issue i am getting three category for submitting my issue for example a bug report it simply creates a report to help them improve feature request and other if i click on bug report to get started i'm getting a categorized issue template for it so it actually helps everyone to filter those issues and this kind of issue templates help gaining more audiences gaining more exposure gaining more reach throughout the entire world so it's actually really necessary to have some relevant issue templates on your github repository now if you are creating a new repository github automatically offers you some ready-made issue templates to add them on your github repository but if you already have an existing repository and you want to implement this issue template features on your repository then you can do that manually as well so in today's video i'm going to show you how we can create this kind of issue templates manually whether you want to add them in your brand new repository or if you want to add them as an implemented feature on your existing github repository so without any further ado let's get into it all right so there are a lot of issue templates out there and some of them may be relevant to your project and some of them might not and you can obviously change and alter the issue templates to suffice your need for your relevant project of course now in this video i'm going to talk about some uh, issue templates to be more specific i am going to show you the three most usable issue templates that you can use instantly on any kind of your project all right and i would also show you how many alteration and modification you can make throughout the templates and if you are wondering whether i'm going to give the source code you are in luck because i'm going to include a specific repository link which will hold all of the issue templates i'm going to create in this video and i'm going to create in future videos in there and i will make sure to enlist that link in the video description anyway all right for example firstly i want to create a specific issue template for reporting bug all right so suppose this is our github repository if we want to include the issue templates first of all we need to create a folder named dot github in the root directory all right in the root directory and in that dot github folder we have to create another folder named issue underscore template like this sorry it would be a folder not any file all right let me simply delete this file and here i need to create the folder named issue underscore template sorry it won't be templates it would be template okay now inside this issue template directory i have to create a specific markdown file for indicating specific issue templates now obviously i have seen some repositories where they used other thing not markdown for introducing some issue templates but it is quite natural and quite popular to use markdown file for using issue template all right so i'm simply going to use markdown as well so for example 
for our first issue template it would be a bug report so in that issue template subdirectory i can create a new file named bug underscore report dot md as the extension for the markdown file so we have created our bug report markdown file and now we need to enlist the specific ports for this issue template so how can i do this i'm simply going to show you the current markdown file i have in this repository all right so this is the markdown file and you can see the preview right here so if i want to use this i can simply copy this entire thing and paste it here don't worry i'm going to show you how it actually works so here i have to give the name for this issue template and let's say i'm naming it something bug report you can change the name obviously if you want bug report and now here i need to provide a description create a report to help us improve this description would appear right here all right so let's say i'm going to change this description something like create a bug report to help us resolving the bug something like this and the title and if i keep it blank when the user creates uh, clicks on the get started the title would be blank but let's say i want to provide any kind of a specific thing in that title so i can simply use something like this let's say i am using bug so when the user click on get started he would instantly get this bug thing in the title box and obviously you can use any kind of emoji for example this emoji suits here bug and let's say i am writing it something like give it a sorry give a or you can simply say write a sorry treatable title like this label if you want any specific label to be applied instantly when a user creates on this uh, issue then you can input that label as well now if i am not mistaken then github automatically offers a label named as bug so i am simply using that here so whenever any user use this uh, specific issue template a bug label would automatically apply there and if you want someone specific to work on this kind of issue you can add their name in the assignee section but as i don't want that right now so i can simply keep it blank and here you can modify them as you see fit for your needs for example i want something here describe the bug a clear and concise description of what the bug is then to reproduce what others need to do steps to reproduce the behavior i want to keep them as it is expected behavior all right i want them here as well with screenshots i want them desktop smartphone additional context all right i want all of them here right here so i can simply keep them as it is but if i want to change or you can say modify any one of them then obviously i can do that right here and then i can simply commit the changes let's say i'm gonna name it issue template but commit thing changes and you see this is the repository and in that repository i have added that issue template now if i want to go to issues and if i simply click on new issue you see that i am getting that specific issue named bug report and this is the description that's going to show here create a bug report to help us resolving the bug if i simply click on get started you see that this thing already appears here all right so so the user who is going to create a bug report simply need to modify this thing to provide a suitable title and everything else is right here so obviously you can see how you can implement any kind of bug report issue template in your repository so that's how it goes now we have our bug report issue template now for the next i want to implement this feature request issue template so let's see how we can implement that as well so obviously as i was telling you earlier any kind of issue template is going to be inside this dot github issue template repository so here for example i want to add a feature request issue template so i can create a new file in the issue template subdirectory and let's say i'm going to name it something like feature request.md obviously you can change the name however you want but make sure that it doesn't have any spaces between them all right and let's see our current feature request 
issue template that I have implemented in this student book repository. So it kind of looks like this. Now let's say I want to copy and paste everything that is here and I need to make some changes suitable for my project. All right. So name, let's say feature request and about the description suggest and idea for this project. Let's say I'm going to change it something like suggest and interesting feature idea for this project title i'm gonna name it something like this and feature so that it helps me to figure out those specific issues all right and let me simply write something like write a suitable title and levels and let's see what labels are already out there for any kind of repository from github now obviously if you want you can create your own labels but let's say for now i am going to stay with the built-in labels so github currently gives us these nine labels bug documentation duplicate enhancement good first issue unwanted invalid question and own fix obviously you can create new levels or you can modify these existing levels as well and you can obviously delete any of them so let's say for the feature request i want this enhancement level to be applied on automatically so what i can do that i can simply name it something like enhancement all right and before doing that let me show you whether our uh, earlier thing works or not for example let me go to the earlier issues that we had made earlier so this is the repository and here we created our bug report issue template so let's say i'm going to create something like test bug report and for now i am going to leave them as it is so submit new issue and you see just whenever i am submitting this issue the label bug is applying automatically right here so you see that the labels actually works all right so for now i want to close this issue because i am simply showing you how it actually works all right so then again let's come to our part so i have provided the label named enhancement so that it actually applies here instantly and is your feature request related to a problem please describe describe the solution you'd like describe alternatives you have considered additional context all right so i want them to uh, stay here as it is till now but if you want to make any changes or something like that you can obviously welcome to do so as you see fit for your project all right so as it is all right for me i can simply commit the changes and push that to the remote repository so for example let's say i'm gonna name it something like it should template and then feature commit and then sync changes and if i go here and if i simply go to issue new issue you can see that i have that feature request already applied here so it actually works and then for the last part for today's video i'm going to create another issue template named other and which actually holds category that is not available in the upper issue templates all right so let's see how i implemented that earlier so in that issue template subdirectory i can create a new uh, markdown file named other issue dot md obviously you can use any other name you want so you see that it actually looks like this so i can simply grab the code from here and i can make the changes as i want it would be sorry like this so name let's say other about issues that are not categorized yet titles other and let me give it a, a suitable emoji like thunder like this give a suitable title labels let's see whether i want any specific labels to be applied here or not let's say for example i want to create a new level in my this repository and i want that specific level to be applied here all right so i can simply grab a new level and let's say level name other description i'm gonna simply use this color let's say um, this color for example you can obviously change the color 
let's say I'm gonna go with something like purple is already here this is already here I'm gonna go with something like this create label and I can use this specific label to here if I want to assign someone no I don't want to assign someone yet so give a description of the problem anything that you need to inform us all right I think this is fine for us and about section sorry maybe I have missed something that are not categorized here all right people all right so this would be level level should be other this so let me simply commit the changes let's say i'm gonna name it something like the commit message issue template other you can obviously change the commit message as you see fit for your current project so commit and sync changes that's all should do the trick and let me come here and let's see whether it actually works so i'm going to issues and from here i'm going to new issue you see i'm getting the three issue templates that i created just now so in the other tab issues that are not categorized yet i can simply click on get started and from here you see that the issue template is already working and i'm already getting the specific levels i have selected for this issue template and i can create any issues and i can submit that as well so that's how you can create this kind of issues in your github repository now i know that i have not covered all kind of issue templates because that is simply not possible in a single uh, below one hour video of course but if you can understand how i did this then i'm sure of that you can create any kind of issue templates that you need for your project all right now if you're interested then let me know because if you do then i might create more videos on this more issue templates and something like that and i would also try to write some articles on maybe dev.to if you are interested then you can also read those articles and so that's it moreover if you want this kind of content then you can subscribe to this channel and if you want to follow me you can do that in github gitlab linkedin facebook twitter instagram and i would make sure to provide all of the links in this video's description box so see you again